When World War II came, Woody Brown, as a lifelong pacifist, became a conscientious objector and served as a U.S. government surveyor. It was on assignment to Christmas Island that he first sailed a double-hauled canoe. When the wind gusts would hit the canoe, it would just take off and just you lay you over backwards. The acceleration was so great, just like you step on the gas of the car. Well, there's no sailing like that in the white man's boat, you know what I mean? They just chug along like that. Uh, and that thrilled me. I said, oh, man, this is for me. When I get home, I'm going to build one. Woody adapted an ancient Polynesian design to build the Monokai, the first modern catamaran. It was widely regarded as the fastest sailboat in the world. We learned that the Polynesian people were sailing across the ocean long before the white man ever went out in the ocean, thousands of years before. So we were fascinated by their design. This is the drawing that you saw so. in, yeah. in the 1940s. Yeah. And then you made your catamaran from this? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. How did you how did you make the catamaran? What did you make it out of? Oh, in those days there was no fiberglass, yeah, right. I just used plywood. Yeah, because right, right, yeah. light, I wanted to make it light. I'd yeah. say I'm an airplane man, yeah, so yeah, it yeah. had to be light. Right, right, right. I mean, were you taking people out to go fast? Oh, boy. Woody then started a business, taking tourists for thrill rides in the surf. I would really give them everything it got. We'd take off down the face of the wave, yeah? And they'd whoop and holler, but... Now you, I think of it, you know, that was kind of dangerous. I was pushing it right to the edge because we'd lift the hull sometime up out of the water with the tourists on. But I was lucky, never hurt anybody. And for 30 years, I took them out. Woody Brown had a very unique personality, and he had to charm these people onto the boat, you know. And He'd just sail along the sand by the beach front there, and he'd call out to people, hey folks, come and ride the fastest boat in the world. And he had some t-shirts made up that said, uh, world's fastest sailboat. It was a complete something new, and it caught on like mad. It was the funniest thing. He would just take money and stick it in his pocket, and stick it down his trunks and uh, these 10 and 20 dollar bills were falling all over the place. The thing would go so fast it would overtake waves and drop into the wave in front of it and race off again and overtake another one and so it was a very exciting ride and it's sort of like riding a roller coaster. Woody's background as a glider gave him a big advantage as a sailor. He could take a little puff of wind that came out of nowhere when we were all sitting there in a flat, calm sea. And he'd pick up that little puff of wind, and three hours later, he'd be sitting in the yacht club as we came in. A lot of the skippers that came along later, they learned from Woody. Of all the skippers I have sailed with, and I'd say he was the most knowledgeable of all. Even on a windy, windy day, he was totally aware of every moment of the wind and what might happen and if you were working for him as a crewman and you held on to the mainsail sheet line for him, he'd always tell you, okay, old boy, here comes another gust. He just knew what he was doing all the time. Amazing. Just like the good old days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue ocean, trade winds. Beautiful, huh? I was 21, 22, the first time that I, I met Woody and, uh, and sailed on his boat. And uh, yeah, he just seemed to be, I go, this guy's got really got it made. Woody was taking all the surfers out for rides on the cats and, and thrilling them and taking the tourists out there in their low high shirts and all of that and thrilling them probably a little more than he should have. When Hobie came down the beach, she was a surfer, you know. And so he came out of my catamaran and oh, he just thought it was great. He'd come out all the time, I'd give him free ride. He said, Woody, I'm going to go and build one. As soon as I get home, I'm going to go and make one. I said, well, sure, good, that's good. The boat that influenced this was the Monokai.
we went out and sold a little of Woody Brown's excitement. He did a good job of copying my boat. It was really a fine little boat, the Hobie Cat. Fast and, and good fun and cheap to build. And he made a million dollars, but I didn't care. I've turned on the chance to make a million dollars three or four times. But I just can't be bothered with that. After people saw us making a living there, then they all wanted to get catamarans too. And so they made catamarans, put them down the beach alongside of me, and it was my competition. I just got fed up with it. That's why I built this beautiful place here, to get away from it all. <laughs>